you have got one year to make it this is the opportunity you have been waiting for you only got one chance only one try only you can make it happen nobody else can make it can you move mountains can you aim that high the answer is simple yes do not screw up with this positive thought a very good morning to all my dear students i hope you all are doing well i shreya jadav welcome you all to my e learning channel and today we are going to learn english grammar section and that is active passive voice part 1 now this grammar is really very easy to learn but sometimes it becomes difficult for the students to score so here this video will be really helpful to you to understand the basic rules and regulations of the topic and i hope that your concept becomes clear with active and passive voice this concept and topic is included from 5th standard to 12th standard to pg level so this is going to be really very helpful to you so let us begin now basically when we start active and passive voice or whether we start any grammar what is the first thing which you are supposed to remember is how a sentence is usually formed yes a sentence is formed by subject verb and object this is how a sentence formation is being done this is how a grammar structure or a grammatical structure of sentence could be derived so over here you can see we have subject plus verb plus object so over here one example is given lata sings lovely songs so you can see over here that lata becomes a subject now what do you mean by subject subject means name of person place animal or thing it is considered as a subject now subject could be noun as well as pronoun he she it can also be called as subject so subject includes nouns and pronouns nouns means name of person place animal or thing pronouns includes he she it they we us etc now the next one that is verb now you can clearly see over here that sings this word is been highlighted in red now what do you understand by verb or what is the definition of verb action doing words are considered as verb so over here the action of singing is been done so this is called verb the action words are known as verbs for example singing eating dancing walking sleeping these all are the examples of verb the next one is object now object means it relates to subject or it is helping the subject to clarify more so over here lovely song represents object we can also say like this that subject is considered as a doer and object could be considered as receiver so now let us move ahead now let us understand the concept of active and passive voice so as you can see over here that over here a sentence has been written now what do you understand by active and passive or why is it necessary active and passive over here the sentence is been written in a different manner but the meaning of the sentence should not change it should remain as it is that is considered as active and passive voice so you can see over here a sentence has been written hari killed a snake this is an active form 
Why? Because hurry is the subject, killed becomes the verb, and snake becomes object. So you can see over here that hurry is a name of a person. So we can say that this is a subject. Killed it signifies is the verb or action. So this will become verb, and snake becomes the object. Now. when you see this the second statement a snake was killed by hari meaning of both the sentences are same are same there is no change in the sentence so you can see over here snake becomes the subject killed become verb and hari becomes object so what you can understand over here is in active voice whatever the subject would be it will change into object when we change into passive and whatever is object in passive or in active form will be changed into the subject in the passive voice so you can see over here that the positions of both have been interchanged yes hari which is written as a subject or written at first in active sentence that is been changed into a passive one and it becomes object and over here the snake which is object in the active sentence becomes the subject when we change into passive now one more thing which you are supposed to remember is that whenever we change into passive form by is compulsory to use if you forget using by then your sentence would be incorrect it is necessary to put by the tense over here is not supposed to be changed tense will remain as it is the first sentence killed it is past tense and if you observe the second sentence was killed so over here this is also past tense only this is not direct indirect where we are supposed to change tenses in active passive whatever tense is given to you you are supposed to change in that very same tense only so now let us move ahead and let us go through the key points the points which you are supposed to remember whenever you are changing from active to passive so the first point is subject in active voice becomes the object in passive voice we have seen in the previous one that how hari was the subject over there when it changed into passive form it became object so the subject in active voice becomes the object in passive voice the second point is object in active voice becomes the subject in passive voice so in the previous sentence we have seen that a snake was object in active voice now when we are changing it into a passive form at that time a snake which was written behind from there we are supposed to start the sentence so a snake becomes the subject the passive contains past participle that is verbs third form in verb we have three form verb 1 verb 2 verb 3 of the main verb so here verb first form means the main form verb 2 indicates the past form and verb 3 it means past participle so whenever we are supposed to change it in passive voice always remember that we are supposed to make past participle of the main verb over here the subject of active voice is made the object of some preposition generally by so i have told you that whenever we change in passive we are supposed to think or we are supposed to consider or is it compulsory that we are supposed to put by whenever we change in passive form 
the next point some forms of the verb to be could be changed in am is are was were being or been according to the tense now remember am is are is used for present tense was were is used for past tense and being and been are used for perfect tenses being is used for continuous and been is used for perfect tense and the most important point and the last point is the tense of the verb does not change means if the question is in past form the answer would also be in past form if the active voice is in present tense then the passive form would be also in present tense only now let us move ahead so this is a tense chart of passive voice and over here the verb right is been taken into consideration so you can see that whenever we make simple present tense which things we are supposed to consider the to be form that is is am and are we are supposed to use and verb third form is supposed to be written so over here over here it will be is written are written now we take into consideration present continuous then there will be an addition now remember continuous means the action is going on that action is going on so remember we are supposed to add ing in there so it will be is being written are being written present perfect tense it means over here has had plus been plus verbs third form is supposed to be written so this would be has been written have been written in the similar way with simple past tense we are supposed to use was were plus verbs third form so this will be was written were written now when we take into consideration past continuous tense we are supposed to take was were plus being plus verbs third form so over here being indicates a continuous form ing we are supposed to remember so this will be was being written were being written and in past perfect tense had plus been plus verbs third form so this will be had been written now simple future tense so in uh, future tense we usually put will or shall either of one you can use it is not compulsory to use both one of it according to the sentence so will shall plus be plus verbs third form so over here will be written shall be written we do not have future continuous tense for passive voice then we have future perfect tense so that is will shall plus have plus been plus verbs third form so this will be will have been written shall have been written so now let us move ahead the next one is pronouns so whenever the sentence is in active form when you change it in passive what you are supposed to take into consideration these given pronouns will change so here i becomes me we becomes us he becomes him she becomes her they remains they they changes into them you changes into you and it remains it so over here the table is given over here you and it will remain same there will be no changes over there so now 
the change of voice in the tenses now total there are 12 tenses that you all know that you might have learned in your previous classes and grades also but when you change in uh, voice in passive voice at that time only eight tenses are used so the tenses are listed below simple present tense simple past tense simple future tense present continuous tense past continuous tense present perfect tense past perfect tense future perfect tense so these eight tenses you are supposed to remember that only these eight could be changed in passive form apart from that the four tenses which are future continuous present perfect continuous past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous have no passive forms so total there are 12 tenses but out of that only eight could be changed in passive form so now we are going to do all the eight tenses i'll be giving you the rules for it and how we are supposed to change along with the example a detailed explanation is given so now let us study active and passive voice constructions tense wise so the first one that is a simple present tense so here you can see simple present tense now in the table i have divided it in two portion the first one is active part the second one is passive part and over here which changes you are supposed to do is also mentioned now in active form verbs first form or main form is used either it is in singular form or it is in plural form do does could be there with verbs first form and when we change it into passive form you will be using am is are plus verbs third form means past participle you will be using so the first one over here is i write a letter so i becomes subject write becomes verb letter becomes object so when we change into passive the object will become subject so the sentence will be a letter is written by me the second one is she does not like me so over here in the passive form it will be i am not liked by her so if you observe in passive form we are putting by does she teach you music so the passive form would be are you taught music by her now always remember one thing if it the question is in active form then the answer would also be in that manner only this over here it is an interrogative form been used the active one is in interrogative so the passive one would be the same you can see in the third sentence we have question mark behind so you are also supposed to remember this thing the next one is do you like such films so we will be asking or the passive form would be in interrogative only that is are such films liked by you now why are we have used over here because films is plural so this will be are if it was singular then we would be using is as it is plural it will become are the fifth one is people speak english all over the world so over here english is spoken all over the world by people so you can see over here how the construction of the sentences are been made now let us move to the second one simple past tense now you can see over here that the active form contains verbs second form that is past form then we have did plus verbs first form and in passive one we have was where 
plus verbs third form so you can see over here i kept my promise so my promise we are supposed to start from there the sentence my promise was kept by me now why was because it is singular the second one is she spoke the truth so we are supposed to start truth was spoken by her spoke is the second form of the verb over here spoken is the past participle or verbs third form the next one is we did not tell a lie now here you can see a lie becomes the subject a lie was not told by us remember children you are supposed to put by whenever you change in passive it is necessary the next one is did you break my slate was my slate broken by you why was because it is singular and slate is only one so we are using was the last one is who painted the walls by whom were the walls painted now remember one thing now you can see the difference over here we have used by first because it is a rule that whenever we change or the question is in who we change in whom but that would be an incomplete question so first we are supposed to use by whom so that it conveys a complete meaning the next one is simple future tense so over here in active form you can see that in future tense we use will shall plus verbs first form and in passive one we use will shall plus be plus verbs third form so the example is i shall buy a car a car will be bought by me the next one is he will not tease you you will not be teased by him will you help me shall i be helped by you when will you return my book when will my book be written by you who will take his place by whom will his place be taken now if you observe over here this is very easy that the object becomes the subject when we change in passive moreover to that we are supposed to change the verb that we are supposed to use the third form over here in the first sentence you can see by changes into bought tease changes into teased help into helped written into returned take into taken so you have observed over here and by is compulsory to use the next one is present continuous tense so over here you can see that how we have used the formation m is r plus verbs first form plus ing always remember in continuous tense ing is used so i am singing a song so a song is being sung by me so here in the sentence you can see that how singing change into sung and we have added being so this will become a continuous tense the remaining sentences are they are watching the play the play is being watched by them why is because play is singular the next one is are you cleaning your teeth now are means it is plural so the sentence or the passive form would also be starting with the plural form only are your teeth being cleaned by you who is driving a car by whom is a car being driven the next one is what are you looking for what is being looked for by you the next one that is fifth one past continuous tense so the active form would be was were plus verbs first form and in the passive one we will be putting was were plus being plus verbs third form that is past participle so the first example over here is 
she was plucking flowers flowers were why were because it is plural flowers were being plucked by her the second one is i was not drawing a map a map was not being drawn by me third one is the door was examining the doctor was examining her she was being examined by the doctor were you boiling eggs were eggs being boiled by you what was he doing there what was being done by him there so over here you can see that if it is singular we use was if it is plural we use were and as it is a continuous tense we use being and verbs third form past participle is supposed to be used the next one is present perfect tense so here we have in active form we have has have plus verbs third form and in the passive when we change we are supposed to add has have plus been plus verbs third form so i have sold my car now already over here the verb is in third form so we are not supposed to change the verb what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to add been over here this is so simple yes i have sold my old car my old car has been sold by me next one is she has not informed me i have not been informed by her the next is have they won the match so over here it changes into has the match been won by them the fourth one is the police had arrested the thief so here it will become the thief has been arrested by the police the next one is has he solved the sum it changes into has the sum been solved by him so you can observe over here how the sentence is changes remember you are supposed to put been and verbs third form the second last one is the seventh one past perfect tense so over here it will be had plus verbs third form in active side when we change it into passive it will be had plus been plus verbs third form so the example is i had already seen the movie now when we change it into passive the movie had already been seen by me so the movie becomes the subject had because it is past tense already been why been because it is a perfect tense seen by me the second one is she had never visited a zoo before a zoo had never been visited by her before third sentence why had you not attended the seats before why had the seats not been taken by you before so you can see over here if the active sentence is an interrogative then the passive one would remain same we are not supposed to change it the next one is they had already defeated the enemy the enemy had already been defeated by them she had not washed the clothes before you came so over here the clothes had not been washed by her before you came you can put you came or otherwise it is uh, accepted universally that it has been said to a person so it is not compulsory over here to write down you came so over here for past perfect tense remember we are supposed to just add been over here because in active form already had 
plus verbs third form will be given as you have seen over here that in first sentence we have seen in second one we have visited in third one we have taken fourth one we have defeated and fifth one we have washed already all these verbs are in third form so we are not supposed to make in any changes over there while changing into passive and the last one is future perfect tense so over here the active form will be will shall plus have plus verbs third form and in the passive one we will be having will shall plus have plus been plus verbs third form so over here we'll be having i shall have finished the job by now so when we change into passive it will be the job will have been finished by me by now clear so over here twice the by is used why because one time it is already given in the question and second time because it is the rule the second sentence she will not have paid her school dues her school dues will not have been paid by her third one is they will have missed the train the train will have been missed by them the fourth one when will you have submitted the report when will the report have been submitted by you now you can see the fourth sentence is an interrogative so the passive form would also be same active form it is been started up with when in passive also we are supposed to use when the last sentence that is will raman have cleared the debts or debts the passive form will be will the debt have been cleared by raman so over here this is the explanation of the eight tenses which are been used in active and passive form i hope you all have understood if you still find any doubt or any queries you can comment down in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day